Hey everybody, happy Tuesday morning and welcome to Let's Get Live with Dracina Wines. Today we're going to get a little geeky and basically we're going to talk about what you can do when you're walking through the vineyard if you want to know what that grape variety is. The things that we look at in order to determine what the grape variety is. So, you know, all these purple grapes now that Verasion has occurred and we're harvesting, they kind of all look the same, but if you get down to the nitty gritty of it and you look at very specific things, then you can uh, identify what that grape variety is. So there's kind of several things that we look at and the main things are the leaves, the clusters, and the berries, okay? So those are the main things that we are going to look at today. So the first thing <clears throat> is the leaves, okay? So there's very there's several points in the leaf that are important to us. So this is a diagram of a leaf and this stem-like thing is the petiole and we have lobes which are kind of like the, the actual leaf part, okay? And we have sinuses and so we're looking at the, this leaf, the edges, you see how they are serrated? Okay, well, some grape varieties, the serration is sharp, okay? Like this one, right? They come to a point. And other serrations are not as dominant and they're kind of more rounded, okay? We're also looking at the leaf in terms of these, you know, where the, um, whether their lobes are overlapping or whether their space spaces in there. So this picture here, you can see that there's spaces between the lobes. Other leaves, they're going to be overlapping. So they're, they're not going to have a space. There's also another thing that we look at in terms of when you flip the leaf over, whether there's little hairs on it, it could be hairy or it can be smooth. And then we're also looking at the pattern of the veins, okay? And finally, we're looking at whether or not the leaf itself is going to lie flat or if it's kind of waffly, okay? So we look at the leaf, the color, okay, the edges and things like that, and that can help us determine what the grape variety is. Then we go to the clusters. And this is kind of a big, big giveaway, okay? So this helps us a lot. So with the clusters, right, there can be a big difference in the size of the cluster and really its shape of the cluster, okay? Does the cluster hang close to the pedicle, which is the stem of the cluster, right? So some grape varieties, that pedicle are going to be very, very short, and others, it's kind of a longer one, okay? So we're going to do that. And then we're going to look at the shape of these clusters, okay? Is it conical or is it slint, uh, cylindrical, okay? And then also are the clusters, are those clusters super tight or are they widespread? And now this also is going to pay attention to whether, you know, when it comes to harvesting and things like that, you know, tighter clusters um, can hold back that moisture. So they might be more um, prone to mildew, okay, and rot. Whereas if it's a looser cluster, right, the wind can kind of get through and dry those out. So that plays a role in, in weather and when we're going to pick and concerns in the vineyard. But as you can see here, right, we have short conical and then you have conical that's like shouldered, right, and just long. And then we have three different types of cylindrical and then you also, you know, you have the winged. Okay, so looking at the cluster shape, different varieties grow their clusters differently, okay? Then we go even further and instead of just looking at the clusters, we actually look at the berries themselves, okay? So the berries the, the, themselves, right? We also look at the thickness of the skin and obviously the color the, of the grape, okay? So here's six different shapes that the grapes can grow. Now this is, you're taking them out of the cluster, right? So we looked at the big picture and now we're pulling out berries and we're looking at what shape the berries are. 
okay? Now, let's ID our beautiful cab franc, okay? So this is a cab franc leaf, okay? So as you can see, it is slightly open, okay? Now this one is really spread out. Um, it can also have overlapping um, lobes to it. The leaf itself is greenish when it is young, but then it had it gets this little bronziness on the edge of it when it starts to mature. Okay, and it is a pentagon a pentagonal leaf. Okay, so it can have three or five. The majority of them have five lobes. And now the teeth, if you look at those teeth on the edges, right, they are straight edges, okay? So this leaf, I'm gonna go back to that original leaf. So take a look at this leaf, right, this cab franc leaf, okay, and see how those teeth are. And then if we go back to this first one, right, there's more teeth and they're a little bit more edgy. They're more serrated, okay? So that, oops, wrong one. So that is uh, the cap front leaf. Also, it is uh, shiny and th there's low density, what is called prostrate hairs. And these are little microscopic hairs that are on the underside of the surface. So when you look at this leaf, okay, there's little, little hairs. Now some leaves have a lot of hairs on them and other leaves have a little bit. So cab franc only has a few of these prostrate hairs. Now, if we go further and we look at the cluster itself, these clusters are cylindrical and they do have shoulders, okay? So they have shoulders. So if we go back to that first um, picture, okay, you can see that it's short, there's a short uh, conical and then uh, we have conical with shoulders, okay? So, these shoulders are important to that cab franc grape variety identification. Uh, and then the berries themselves, oh, and it is also a compact grape um, cluster. Okay, so the berries are relatively close together. And then the berries themselves are small, round, and they are blue black berries. So as you walk through the vineyard, if you realize, if you pay attention in the future, take a look at one leaf versus another leaf, right? So most of the vineyards are going to have some sort of identification to it that tells you what it is. And then you can walk through it and you can say, oh, okay, look, here's Cab Franc. This is a grape leaf for a Cab Franc. And oh, here's Pinot Noir. Very, very different. Same thing with those clusters. The Pinot Noir clusters are going to look extremely different than my beloved Cab Franc. So there you have it. That is how we identify uh, grape leaves and berries in the vineyard. It would be a cool little parlor trick for you if you can do that to your friends the next time you walk through. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have anything that you would like me to talk about, please just leave a comment and I will be sure to cover it in the next Let's Get Live or in a future Let's Get Live with Dracina Wines. Hope you have a spectacular week and see you soon. Slancha.